Hello YouTube, this is another video from Super Apple Forever. Um, so, I was, uh, I, I've been working on this for a while. Um, so, I have my Macintosh PowerBook G3. I don't know if you can see it, but, um, I was trying, I had, originally, I had OS 9 on here. Um, then I tried to upgrade it to Jaguar, and I was 10.2, and I was having some problems with that. So then, um, I won an Apple Newton on eBay, and I got all of the, um, I got all of the, the, so the software and everything, and I want to be able to use this software, and I have this old Mac here, and I wanted to use this Mac to do the software stuff, so, um, I wanted to install Mac OS 8. Um, it's not going to work for some reason, it's not reading the installation disk, it's saying that it, it won't work on this Mac. But uh, this is like the original G3 Power Book, and um, I wanted to install OS8. And this can, I know it can install. I know it can run OS8. I've seen YouTube videos with it running OS8, and um, also the specs say that it can run OS8. Um, I have 8.1, and it can't run the. It can't run 8.0, but it can run 8.1. And I have the 8.1 disk, and it just won't work. So, um, a few days ago, I tried to install the first part of 10.2 Jaguar. I'm pretty sure it's Jaguar. I'll put it in an annotation if I'm wrong, but I hope I'm not. But, anyway, I tried to do that, and I was having a lot of problems with it. I just got fed up with it, and I quit. But, um, it had... it. I did install the first disc. I have the CD... Um, version of it because this thing can't read DVDs so I did disc 1 and uh, now I'm doing disc 2 and it seems to be going better than it was a few days ago unfortunately I don't have the video from the first um, installation disc but you didn't miss much it was just the um, you know like asking me the settings on how I wanted to install it so just a bunch of boring stuff right now it's just installing it, the printer drivers and the additional stuff so you still haven't missed very much. So like I was saying, the great advan advantage of having Mac OS X and having Mac OS 9 on the classic part is that I can run Mac OS 9 in 8 software, and I can also have all the stuff on Mac OS 9. So um, there's ways to put MP3s on a Newton, and I can do all of that because I, I would have iTunes on here, even though it would be a really old version. And I could have just the advantages of OS 10, as long as the Newton software will run on the classic OS 9 with OS 10. All right, so I just finished the installa installation process, and um, hopefully we'll get a good intro. Okay, so it's just playing some music. Okay, so I put in all my information and I'm just finishing up now. See, you can see the old Apple text that they used to use. So it's probably going to tell me that I'm not on the internet, maybe. But hopefully we'll get an intro movie.
Okay, so, um, if you don't know this, Apple used to have a partnership with Earthlink for internet, and, um, it wants to give me an internet connection with Earthlink. I don't even think Earthlink's around anymore. So, um, I'll use my existing internet service. It'll probably ask me to connect. So, I'm not ready to connect. And I'll register later. Okay, well, we're obviously not in 1972. Okay. So, um, I, I like I said, or maybe I said this, I don't remember, but, um, I don't... No, if we'll get an intro video since this computer is kind of old. Well, it is old. It's 13 years old. But hopefully we will get an intro video. And it won't just go straight to the desktop. Yeah, so I think it's going to go to the desktop. Yeah, it went to the desktop. So that sucks that we're not going to get an intro video, but it is pretty cool to look at this. Um, so, here you get the a Finder, the Mail, the old school um, iChat, the old school Internet Explorer, the old school iTunes, <laughs> um, iPhoto, iTunes, and that's great that it has it on the CD, so I didn't have to go and install another version of it. The Sherlock, if you don't know what that is, it's, um, it's an old search engine that Apple had, uh, the old QuickTime, and the old system preferences. So basically most of these icons have been changed, except for the Mail, the Finder, and uh, the iMovie and iPhoto. But yeah, so it's pretty cool to see this. It did finish and it did install. So uh, it sucks, like I said, it sucks that we didn't get an intro video, but um... I'll make another video on 10.2. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. You can either ask me in a private message or in the comments. And then please subscribe and please like. Okay, so um, I've successfully installed Mac OS 10.2. I have it sharing with an Ethernet cable from my iMac to this. So I'm going to try and update it now. There's probably going to be a trillion updates. Okay, so, um, sorry about the shitty camera. It found, like, a ton of updates. Okay, so, well, not a ton. A few, though. Um, Internet Explorer 5.2 Security Update. OS 10, um, I'm not going to go through all these. QuickTime, of course. Safari 1.0. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to install all of, the, all of these. Makes kind of a cool looking update thing. And um, so it, yeah, it's updating now.